What is going on everybody? This is Eric here from Paraflinch. Welcome back to another video today. Uh, I've got your favorite fairy fox joining the battle. Uh, that is right, Alolan Ninetales. We're playing Alolan Ninetales Decidueye. Uh, we're calling this the Fairy Feather deck. Fairy Feathers. Um, why? Because it just sounds good. So, um, we're going to start Tapu Lele, which is not great. Uh, Fun fact, I did record a 50 minute video of this deck, um, however we played the most jankiest of decks. Um, we played a Sylveon Mill, um, we played this weird spread deck, uh, we're, okay we're going against Blast Cephalon, that's great, that's awesome, that's fun, that's great, that's great. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't entertaining whatsoever, uh, we started Tapu Lele 3 out of the 4 games, the last game we won because we started Alolan Bullpix. Um, and yeah, so anyways, this is the first time playing against Blacephalon on the channel, which is cool. Uh, so this this Alolan Ninetales right here is actually going to be really good. Um, and we got Choice Band as well. So we're hitting for 160 with a DCE. So that is cool. Uh, my opponent's going to just go for a Lily here. Is he going to be able to burn his hand any lower? Uh, he wants a fire energy attachment for the turn, and he wants a couple poiples. There is a beast energy, so that is good for my opponent. Spell tag as well. Holy cow, what is this? <coughs> wow. Uh, okay. That's we're not knocking out that Lele. We don't want to knock that out for sure. That's just an interesting inclusion. Wow. Uh, we're going to see an acro bike here. Probably a fire is going to hit the discard. Oh, Ultra Ball hits the discard. Wow. Plays 17 energy. Gets one poi pull down. Does he get a second one? No. So really slow start for my opponent here. We're going to have to Elm. And do I want to put a uh, Vulpix up in the active? I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. Swampert's also going to be really good in this matchup. I did not show off the deck. Uh, I just went right into it. However, this is the deck. All right, guys, you saw it. Congrats. Uh, <laughs> I'll go over it at the end. So, um, Rowlet is not good in this. I don't want to play Rowlet's. Um, our super boost energy is prized. That sucks, because now we can't use Swampert. Well, I mean, we can. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that. Get all three of these boys. And let's go ahead, bench, bench, bench. Retreat with Rainbow into a Alolan Vulpix, then he can just, I mean, he's going to have to expend a lot of resources to um, knock out this uh, Vulpix. Well, not really. He could just evolve and then um, discard. He has to discard two, so he'd have to discard this one and this attachment for the turn. So I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and beacon for a Swamp Swamp and uh, one of these. Do I do one of these, or do I assume this is going to get knocked out? I think I assume that's going to get knocked out, so I'm going to do one of those. Yeah. We have candy, which means Swamper is good. Yeah, this looks good to me. Because then we get the Alolan Ninetales up. Yeah. <clears throat> I assume this is going to get knocked out. There's the Nugganadel. Naganel. Bench is another blast Blasphesaplas. The disease Pokemon. It sounds like a disease. Blasphelathen. Blasphelathen. Bless. Bliff. I'm just gonna keep talking. There's the attachment for turn, like we were saying. Cynthia. Hopefully gets no poiples down. Six fire energy is the play. He has Acrobike. See if what he gets. Discards Ultra Ball, so he must have another poiple or something. Wow, no, not I would have got I would have just just definitely tried to get another poi pull down. Um, maybe he does have it. No, he's just okay. Here's mind blown. So he's gonna take the knockout here. Uh, actually, no, he he only needs to discard one because of the beast energy. I totally forgot that. You guys are probably screaming like, no, he just needs to discard one or lost zone one, not discard. That is the key. So there is 80 damage. So. <clears throat> So we just win, honestly, if we get, um, see, I don't think, there's no way he's going to be able to knock out this Alolan, uh, Ninetales, so, let's go and do this, let's 
bench this and power draw. I think we're good with one stretcher this game. Brooklyn Hill DC, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Uh, draw supporter would have been nice as well, but I think we're just gonna do that. Do we get another, I think maybe just prioritizing another Swamp Swamp. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we also have Ice Path, which is such a good option as well. So let's go ahead and Ice Blade the active. Some cool, cool stuff. Yeah, we didn't need to touch Choice Ban, huh? So there is Ultra Space. That is fine. That is fine by me. Gets his, gets another Poiple down. Is the play? Oh, you know what would be a really cool play, actually. Because um, he's gonna be able to mind blow, but I don't think he's gonna get the knockout here. Oh yeah, he could. He could if he discards everything. Actually. Actually, no, he needs to get something in the discard pile, and he also needs to get Choice Band because I think PTCGO still has not fixed this bug uh, with this Beast Energy. He lilies for one card. Bursting Burn, that is probably the play you want to do. So, <clears throat> I'm not burned anymore, which is nice. Decidueye. I don't think there's anything in the deck that I can grab with Ultra Space. Absolutely not. Um, I think I have to Guzma here. I don't mind doing that. If we hit DCE. Oh, Acerola. Boom. Bang. Diggity dang. Uh, we could just knock out with Alolan Vulpix. That'd be pretty funny. Icy Snow. And then he can't he can't attack. He can't attack. He could Bursting Burn. I actually don't mind that at all. Um, no, that's stupid, Eric. Don't do that. Uh, that's funny. With a Choice Band, you could do 100 damage with Icy Snow to Blast up one. That's crazy. Um, okay, I gotta make a play. I gotta make a play. I gotta make a play. Uh, we're just going to Acerola. I think... I think I'm just going to Evolve here. Just keep it safe, really. And then Ice Blade. I'm also taking Energy off the board, which is really good. So yeah, this is why we actually play one uh, water type Alolan Ninetales specifically for Blastephalon, even though, you know, Swampert and even just Alolan Vulpix could probably carry you. Now he's on his Beast Ring turn, so we probably should have expected that he was just sitting on that. Um, so he's going to be able to blow us up here. However, um, yeah, we didn't even hit... Uh, a super boost one actually it's not gonna do anything because we're not getting up our deciduous so he has everything up here though he's gonna have to discard five five energy and then he's gonna be sitting pretty bad he has one in the discard because he took the knockout so he's gonna have to discard everything on the bench sightseer see if he has any energy he's gonna discard I assume so yeah all three are fire energy Heat Factory, yeah, 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 yeah. He needs another Blastephalon, and he needs another Beast Ring to attach to it. <clears throat> well, there's his four Beast Rings. He literally hit all four Beast Rings, didn't he? One, two, three, four. Or no, he hit three and had to discard one. Oh, whatever. <laughs> the deck, that, the deck's known to do that, right? So he's going to Mind Blown here. Just fine. Which is just fine. Um, ideally, we could take a knockout here. So he's actually going to be able to knock out our Alolan Ninetales again. So do I just go for a hundo? I think I just go for a hundo. Um, 
This is where a counter gain would be really sweet. Because then we get attached to Swampert. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, max Potion, that's irrelevant. Um, hot diggity darn. Let's go ahead and power draw the Max Potion, I think. Or Guzma. Yeah, let's just do a Guzma. I think the Max Potion's irrelevant, but, you know. There we go, that's nice. Let's get a full picks down. <clears throat> and we are going to just smack it for 100 here. For sure. And then... Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to give him two prizes. Um, we could Guzma, but we're not going to knock out anything. We would just snipe, keep sniping 50. Yeah, everything has one retreat. There's no point in Guzma in whatsoever. We do have Rescue Stretcher for next turn. Let's just go ahead and just Icy Snow for a hundo. One hundo. It's crazy. Still on Beast Ring turn. However, he's out of Beast Rings. We give him more time to charge up. We don't want him to get another Blast Cephalon down with an energy attached. That is the point here. So he's going to have to discard two. Probably going to discard two from the active, which makes sense. Oh, he's on three three prize cards, so he could just take a knockout with Naganadal. If he does that, though, we've got Guzma in hand. So. Just hoping he doesn't get another... Okay, attach a spell tag. I would have attached here if you are going to attack there. He just attacked, attacks with this. Okay, that's... Okay. I think that was a missed opportunity there. Because you'd have to assume that I had Guzma in hand to get around this. And then you could just attack with that. And he discards from here. That's crazy. Do you not think I have the knockout? Guess so. Um, okay, well... Let's go ahead and power draw away. I think Max Potion's good now. Um, I actually don't want to get rid of anything in this hand. I guess Ultra Ball's irrelevant, so let's go ahead and do that. And we get two more Ultra Balls with it. Okay, let's go ahead and Rescue Stretcher. One, we'll put this guy back into our hand. Go here, <clears throat> here, uh, choice bands irrelevant here, um, don't want to bench Rowlet whatsoever, I do want it to get candy mudkip, but that's not going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and ice blade. So now my opponent is going to be on the back foot here. Actually, it probably would have been okay to start um, benching a Rowlet, and then we could have... Yeah. That could have been a play. Did not hit... There's there's Blast Cephalon. I would not have benched that. I would not have benched that. That is uh, not a thing I would have done. We are running out of energy. That is something worthy to note. <clears throat> Okay, he's so probably going to start attacking with this. Four energy there, eight energy there. So he's got 12, 13, 14, 15. That's all of his energy, I think. 16. That's 16 energy. I mean, 17 is crazy. I don't think he plays 17. There's three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> yeah, that's, well, that's 15, counting the beast energy. So he might have one more. I usually run 16 fire, so. 
Yeah, he can't attack with Blastcephalon. I think benching this was a mistake. And he just scoops, yeah. I think he just knows he's out of energy. Um, I mean, he'd have to keep attacking with um, Naganadal, but then we just keep sniping uh, Blastcephalon, and then once we hit an energy with Power Draw, then we go we'll be able to Guzma and then take the knockout. So looks like we're against another Blastcephalon deck. So doing the same exact thing is ideal. So let's see what we can um, start with. If we start with Alolan Vulpix, that is just prime. Going first also will help out a ton. So let's see what we get here. We lost the coin flip. Oh well, whatever. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. Maybe this shouldn't be called uh, Fairy Feathers. It should just be called uh, <laughs> Water Alolan uh, Ninetales. It's, it's good. This is a really, really awesome start here. Don't even need to bench a Lele for anything. This is so good. This is really good. Um, we do have Candy. I don't want to be tempted into um, getting Decidueye here because I think we just lose if we get Decidueyes up. Though my opponent last game only got one Poipol down. So let's see if my opponent can get any more than just one down. Yeah, he's going to be able to get more than one. So discards two fire. I, that's ideal. So I bet he's going to have fire in hand. And then a Lily turn would be bonkers for my opponent. Fire attach Lily. That'd be cool. Choice band to the Bless Up one. Has Lele. Okay. Probably going to get a Lily here. Sightseer is also play if he has... Well, no. He probably wants to attach. Yep, Lily. Yep, 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 yep. So if we get DCE, uh, we can hit for 40 damage, which is not bad at all. Discards his own heat factory. That's crazy. There's the attachment. So he's got a really good setup here. We hit rainbow energy. That does not help whatsoever. Um, let's go ahead and ultra space, see what we have in the deck. We're going to get one mudkip, two alone, and Vulpix. And then we're going to attach fairy energy to the bench, I think. And we get sublimation, take the knockout. And then we have, yeah, I like that a lot. Do we have super boost? Not that it matters, because we're not going to get Decidueyes up. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Because then we also have Swampert next turn with Ultra Ball. So let's go ahead and get out the gang. Oh, we have Swamper with Beacon, right? So let's do that. Let's attach here. And... Yeah, let's Beacon. Beacon for a Swamp Swamp. And... Oh, nope. I want you, sir. I want you... Yes. Okay. So, this Vulpix might be safe. Might be. When I say might be, I mean not safe whatsoever. Because um, he's just going to have... He's going to be able to uh, charge up both of these. And then take the knockout. So, that is a dang old thing. Yeah, there we go. The gang's all here. Three Naganadales would be scary. Ooh, did not hit the fire. He probably will off the six, but just just trying to be suspenseful. He also plays Acrobike, so his chances of hitting it is super high. They play 16 energy, um, 17 sometimes with Beast. So there's the charge up. I'm gonna see the knockout here. I think I'm gonna promote this thing and sublimation. As much as I don't wanna do that. Attach a DCE 
yeah. But it's a one-hit knockout instead of um, two-shotting with the Alolan Vulpix, so, you know. We just have to hit an energy. You see Mind Blown, discarding the two from the back. If he does that and there's no energy on, oh, he's expecting a knockout. That's smart. That's smart. Smart, smart move, sir. Smart move. Okay, we get a Rowlet. Don't think it's worth it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> let's go ahead and... Rescue Stretcher, Choice Band. Yeah, that sounds good. And then let's go ahead and candy up our Mudkip. I think I want to hold the power draw until after I Cynthia. Put another Pix Pix down. And we Ultra Ball to thin some more. Um, how many Guzma? We still have one prize, two in the deck. I think I can. I think I can afford to do that. So let's go ahead and just do that. We want to thin as much as possible here. We need to hit the energy. Like, no doubt we have to. So let's get another Vulpix down. And Cynthia. Okay, we hit DCE. We also hit uh, another Swamper if we can land um, another Mudkip. Brooklet Hill, Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, there we go. But the question is, what do I get rid of? Another Guzma? Guess so. It's worth it. It's worth it to me. Definitely is. We get all the Water Boys. All the water boys in the house. So we're gonna sublimation. Knockout. And we're looking really good here. We got Acerola for next turn. Cause we might just see a bursting burn from my opponent. Ultra space is out, A Blast Cephalon, of course. Unless, unless he hits all of his beast rings. He just needs to actually hit one. Because he can just charge him up. And just discard. One, two, three. Right, he's got... Oh no, he doesn't have the energy in there yet, so... What did he discard with Acro Bike? I didn't see. Did not see what it was. That is why we have a log. Or maybe he didn't do anything yet drew a card okay that's great he drew a card my opponent taking a while to figure out what he's doing here two B strings will get him there um, actually he could technically get there with just one um, though he does also have to retreat well, there's attachment, so the beast ring play that I was talking about will work. Well, no, it doesn't matter, because if he retreats, he can charge up and then have two energy up. So, yeah, if he hits beast ring here, he's got it. <clears throat> Gets rid of Turtonator. So, I think the Turtonator's only in here because of uh, the baby Sceptile that prevents any attacks from uh, Ultra Beast. There's another Blastephalon. Cynthia... <clears throat> I think he's going to hit a beast ring. He's got to hit one or two. Retreats. Beast ring. Yep. Yeah, he's going to get the knockout here. 
Where is it going is the question. To the active. So he's got to discard four still, right? Yeah, he's got to discard four. So he's going to discard two from the active, two from the bench. Sounds good, sounds good. He's going to get the knockout. That sucks. Oh, he gets nether beast ring. Oh, that's, that hurts. That's like a check make there. Check, check make. That's like a checks mix. You know, the bowl of cereal. That, that, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Hit two beast ring. That's what we were kind of expecting here. So he's going to discard these two. Did he get any in the discard pile? No, he did not. Interesting, okay. So he has a lot of faith in this one. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's power draw. Decidui. Sorry for all the crunching noises. It's Pepper in the background as always. Good old Pep Pep. Okay, just a just a bunch of cards here. Oh boy. Kuzma would have been cool. I would have rather attacked with Alolan Bullpix here. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> Does have to hit five energy to knock out Ninetales. Unless he has beast energy, then he just needs to do um, four. Beast Ring is still alive as well, so he could hit two more Beast Rings. That'd be unfortunate. Naganadal GX. What? What? What is that? Why? 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 I don't understand. Why is that? Why is that in here? You want them to be these? A sightseer. So it's discard fodder at this point, but let's see what he's got. How many energy does he have? He's got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's got plenty for beast rings if he hits them. He put one fire in the discard, so he's gonna charge up here. So he needs to hit. So if he attaches, does he attach for turn? Oh, if he misses the knockout here, this is going to be huge. This is the turning point. Okay, is he going to discard everything? That's the question. If he does, it's going to set him back. Mind blown. Is he going to discard everything? Or a lost zone everything? Yep, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Okay, well, I don't think, I don't think that was the play. I don't think it was, because now he has to hit top deck Guzma, I think, I think uh, we're looking really good here now, because now he ta takes two turns to knock out, or to take a knockout on something. Um, judge here would be really good. Actually, let's see if we can dig for it. I think I saw it in the deck. All the max potions. All the max potions. I think Lele's in the deck. Yeah, we could definitely just Lele for it too. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Will Judge even help, honestly? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think Judge helps at all. How many's in the discard? None's in the discard. Uh, I think I keep my hand. I don't think Judge really matters. Let's go ahead and just Ice Blade. So we can bump a stadium. He promotes this thing. He's probably going to go for um, Bursting Burn. Oh no, he just attaches some GXs. Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Dang it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh man, he just needs one. He just needs one Fire Energy. Son of a gun. I'm so dumb. Duh. Oh man, I'm so stupid. Why didn't I not... And then he's just going to Sightseer here and just dig for it. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. So he's got... 11. Oh, yeah, he's got it. I just discard everything, go for it. Yep. Well played. Forgot about the burst GX. Yep. Stupid. I'm so stupid. You guys are just like, he's just, he just GXs. He just, he just GXs. And he hits the fire energy too. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's great. Okay, that, that was a good game. That was a good game. I, I was like, I, I fooled myself there. I was like, oh, I, oh, he just he just loses. And then it's like, oh, wait, no. That My opponent set that up really, really well. That was really well played by my opponent. It usually always bursts in the early turn, so I kind of forgot about that. So that was really cool. Anyways, uh, you got to see a match where I lost with a really good setup uh, with this deck. Uh, you t there's no Decidueye. There's literally just a Lowland Nine Tails. Um, but yeah, there you go. Those are both pretty long games, so we're just going to leave it at two games today. I don't think you guys mind, right? Yeah, it's a really strong, powerful deck uh, with the ability of Mysterious Guidance. Uh, you are able to get your Decidueyes and your Swamperts. That is, this is the hidden gem of this deck. Swampert is awesome. Um, just a more buffed up Zorark and hits really good numbers, actually. If you get the Dream with two Decidueye and two Swampert and you have a super boost, you're hitting 160 with Swampert's Hydro Pump, which is really, really sweet. So yeah, here's the deck list. 2-2 um, two, two, Swampert line, 4-1-4 four, four, Decidueye line, uh, 4 Alolan Vulpix, 1 of the Waters, 2 Alolan Ninetales with the Mysterious Guidance, <clears throat> 2 Tapu Lele, 3 Max Potion, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Rare Candy, 2 Rescue Stretcher, 2 Brooklet Hill, 1 Judge, uh, 2 Lily, 2 Ace Roll, so Judge definitely was the play. I just wasn't even thinking about uh, to, to, to make the side note, Judge definitely was the play. Uh, however, I could have judged him into the energy as well. I think my opponent just had it no matter what. Um, he had like five energy from what I was counting there. Or I guess four with the one that was prized because that would have been 16 or 17. I don't know. The, people's numbers are different. Two Lily, two Acerola, two Elms Lecture, three Guzma, four Cynthia, two Choice Bands, four double colorless, two rainbow, and the super boost energy. Um, we do run a really, really low count of energy, but you remember Decidueye didn't run much energy back in the past, and you can actually get away with it because we have the mysterious guidance to like get our pieces there, and Swamper just power draws into the energy usually. So you're pretty much fine, honestly. So yeah, it's a really good deck. Try it out. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it or not. Um, I'll also have this in the dis this d deck in the description because I didn't have the full layout. You guys can't just pause it and just see all the cards. So go and check the description. Deck list will be there. And uh, yeah, until next time, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.